All right, welcome back, everyone. Um, we're in the final stretch here for the hero side story. Uh, we're on the final level. After this, all we have left is uh, Shadow's boss fight. And of course, the ending cutscene. Of course. So we're in the final stretch here. Uh, and then we get to go on to the dark campaign, which, oh my. I have heard she oh oh okay okay yeah it okay. kind it kind of just shot me into space. Ground control to Major Tom, your circuit's dead. Is something wrong? Yeah, cool guy. Oh, uh, yeah. uh, I missed oh. the rail. Welp. Can you hear me, Major Tom? Hey there, Delilah. What's it like in New York City? I'm floating through space and oh my fuck, I am so dizzy. Yes, it's true. I the can't breathe in space without you. Oh god, ah. it's true. Oh, you see, I'm what suffocating. You space to me. Oh, it's what you space to me. Oh, I can't actually breathe. I am gonna die. Well, I think we just, I think we just created, I think we just created like the hit. 2017 remix of Hey There, Delilah. What's it like in space? What's it like in space? Hey There, Delilah. Featuring, it... featuring Sonic the Hedgehog. See, see, I think that all, uh, all songs should be written in a, like a, a vindictive boyfriend slash girlfriend. Oh, fuck, fuck. So, so that song should just be like, Hey There, Delilah. What's it like, fucking Steve? <laughs> <laughs> I hope he's doing a good fucking job, Delilah. <laughs> Fuck you, bitch. <laughs> Fuck you. Fuck you, bitch. Get out of my house. By the way, I'm taking the toaster and the dog. <laughs> it's my goddamn toaster, Delilah. <laughs> Fuck you. Oh, fuck me. <laughs> it's, it's my goddamn toaster, you fucking bitch. Oh, I'm failing now because and now I'm, I'm laughing too hard. In space. I'm fucking fucking space. Fuck you. Fuck you, Delilah. Fuck you, Delilah. Fuck you, Susan. Fuck you, Delilah. I bought that goddamn toaster. That toaster was mine. You don't even like toast. You made me make toast. And guess what? I had the dog before you showed up, so you know what? Fuck you. Guess what? You ever seen fucking John Wick? Because, spoiler alert, John Wick's dog likes him more than his dead he wife. He does. He does. John Wick is a fantastic movie, by the way. It is. Outstanding. You should go watch both of them. We when saw, you have the chance. We saw John Wick 2. Uh, sadly, you couldn't make it that night. I could not make it at that point, no. Uh, but basically, there was a man who uh, fell asleep. And Wait, I mean, someone fell asleep during John Wick? Oh, did I not tell you the story? No, you didn't! Fuck, dude. Um, okay, so there was a person who straight up fell asleep during John Wick 2. And what by fell asleep fuck, during man? John Wick 2... I mean, like, honest to Jesus, fell asleep, <laughs> was unconscious and snoring during the last three quarters of the movie. What the fuck? I didn't notice until our friend, um, who I was sitting next to goes, yeah, um, you, can you hear that? I'm like, what do you mean, girl? And she's like, listen, Spencer. So I listen, and I could hear snoring, and that man was snoring in the front row. Wow. Oh, sorry. You never cease well, to surprise uh, me. I put three rows ahead of us. I thought that capsule you were in exploded in you space. Know, what can I say? How do you fall asleep during John Wick? We asked that exact same question. We asked that exact like, same question. Like, John Wick is one of the most exciting movies of the last few it's years. It's action packed and full of fun, and also Keanu Reeves, who, by the way, is Canadian. He is Canadian. He is ours, motherfuckers. You don't get him. You don't get it. You got Justin Bieber. You got Kim. Actually, uh, no, we have both of those. Uh, actually, he's a Canadian. He, he actually is American citizen now. Woo! Thank God! Get the fuck out of this country. Thank God we don't have to deal with that shit anymore. Just like my whore of an ex-wife, he belongs in the trash. And just like my ex-girlfriend, he belongs with the trash. Oh, shit. I think we're getting too personal here. I think we're getting too real. 
too real for me. I mean, okay, now we're now we're fighting Shadow, and this fight Shadow might take a while. Heroes, Shadow. This, this fight might take a while because it's, a it's really boss. it's really inconsistent with how you can actually hit him. Because he does a stupid chaos control shit. Oh, and then, you're like, and then oh. the fucking the runway starts like destroying itself. So that's fun. Man. You know what was a good game? What was a good game, my boy? Ape Escape. Which one? One. The original Ape Scoop. Ah, uh, yeah. Whoa, 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 what whoa, the fuck? Whoa, 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 what the fuck? Goddamn camera. You get a goddamn 360 no scope, just like my poor of an ex girlfriend, Delilah. Fuck you, Delilah. <laughs> I took the toaster, you fucking bitch. I somehow what? hit him. Uh, okay, okay. you do literally. Li I. Whoa! I'm doing. Oh god, oh god. Whoa! It's me! <laughs> the Undertaker! Woo! <laughs> Yes. Get over here, you slimy bitch. Get over here, you slimy black hedgehog. Don't you Get know blue's here. a better color? I'm coming for you, boy! Wait, why the hell is I JFK's back on it? Nothing bad ever happens, happens to, the to the Kennedys! I would like to have a party platter! That show was cancelled before its time. Way before its time. It only had one season. It only had one season! And it was so good when it lasted. Yeah, it was hilarious. It was amazing. I loved Clone High. By the way, we're talking about Clone High for yeah, anyone who's Clone unaware. High. Which was a Teletoon at Night show which... where this mad scientist decided to create clones of all of history's biggest um, heroes, and heroes and villains and basically all of history's biggest like people. So, yeah. like, Abe Lincoln, Cleopatra, Joan of Arc, Gandhi, all those things, creates clones of them, including JFK, who is yeah. best character. Him best, and Gandhi are best characters. Him character and Gandhi in the show. are great. Um, so, yeah, this mad scientist creates all these clones of, like, historical figures and then throws them in high school where he is, plays the role of the principal. But in reality, it's just a ruse to get data on them. And to train them to become like soldiers in his army to take over the world. It was really stupid, but it was goddamn great. Also, I feel the need to explain exactly what Teletoon is for Americans. Um, so in it's Canada, basically our Cartoon Network. Yeah, in Canada we have three channels. Well, three channels that most Canadian kids watch: uh, YTV, mm -hmm. Cartoon, I and mean, te Teletoon, and Family Channel. Yeah. And. Uh, think of YTV as basically what Nickelodeon, basically like basically the basically yeah Nickelodeon. Um, Which is Teletoon weird because we also Canada. get Nickelodeon in Canada. Yeah, it's weird. But it's anyways, weird. We have some great shows that are only Canadian, um, mm -hmm. or just Canadian shows that just you look back and you're like, oh shit, that show. Existed. Man, that was Canadian. Yeah. Those crazy Canucks so created that. I did it. Like reboot. Oh god, reboot. That, that that that's Canadian. We need a reboot of awesome reboot. Job, <laughs> that that was not clever, by or the way. So oh my god, Tails looks like he's about to murder him. <laughs> no, but like the fucking Sonic's out in space. For anyone uh, for any of you realists out there who are contemplating how a hedgehog can breathe in space. He's a fucking cartoon hedgehog. Don't look too far into it's it. It's a video game. game, dude. Don't you have anything better to do with life? No, because I am pure weeaboo trash. Good. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Hit the bell. And hit the bell. <laughs> oh, hit the bell the if you're weeb trash. I forgot about the ending yeah. of this game. Yeah! I forgot about the ending of this game. We saved the Earth. Yeah! Oh, oh. Joke's on you, Sonic, because we have to go through two more stories. My name is Knuckles. Yep. I don't chuckle. Unlike Sonic, I don't chuckle. I just flex my muscles. So yeah, boy, that's the end of the hero story. Wow, that was, uh... That was two and a half hours. It's yeah. very short. And the, the dark side story is not much longer. The game overall, I would say, is probably like five, six hours. 
Because, like, it's roughly two hours for each campaign, and then you have the last story, which is about an hour, so it's roughly five or six hours, depending. Mm -hmm. Allow me to ask you, dear Sonic fan, what do yes, you give me. the hero story for Sonic Adventure 2 Battle? I give the hero story bestiality out of ten. That's a good, yeah. That's uh, a good rating. It's a good rating, see, because you thought that it couldn't get better than this, and then they immediately went to bestiality, and that should show you that, just like bestiality, yes. although it it's frowned upon to call bestiality a good thing, there are still people that enjoy it. Much like this game. Much like this game. There you go. See? Look at that segue. I will, I will say... I still do enjoy this game for what it is, but I will not deny that it is an outdated piece of shit. In most aspects, the Sonic levels still hold up beautifully. <gasps> Everything else yeah. Yeah. is pretty iffy. But, I mean, City Escape. City Escape was the highlight, to be honest. And that was, like, literally in, like, the first... Like, that was literally minutes. in the first ten minutes, 10 minutes. of the game. Highlighted highlight of, of the hero story so far has to be us laughing for 16 seconds. Yeah. We told you right off the bat that it only went downhill from there. Yep. We straight well, up. Yeah. I, I give the hero side story bestiality out of 10. Uh, I prefer Sonic 06, a much superior game. Go play it now on Xbox 360. Or, if you're a smart man, on the highly superior PlayStation 3 version. True, true, true that. You know what? Do, what rating do you give the hero story, my boy? I'm going to give the hero story a out of ten. That was because a really loud noise, and I'm not sure if that'll sound well. It probably won't. It'll probably be probably it. It probably peaked the shit out of the audio. Probably. But anyways, um, I give it that sound because although that sound was fun to make at the moment, uh, <laughs> the longer that you listen to it, the more annoying, the more and, annoying and just and unbearable it gets. And that's this game. Oh boy, we got a preview for the dark side story. Fucking Dr. Eggman finds the ultimate life form and the space colony arc. Watch as he and this trio of misfits team up to destroy the planet. That's the moon, not the planet. Sonic Adventure 2, a dark side story. Once you go black, you can't go back. Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's probably the best way we could have ended this. Yeah, honestly. So anyway, next time on our glorious playthrough of Sonic Adventure 2, we will start the Dark Side story, and it will be just lovely. Oh, peachy too. So, join me and Spencer then uh, for actual torture. Mm -mm. 